This is Matt Filio showing you how I painted a colonial portrait using the acrylic glazing technique and how you can as well. Um, we start off very light using a series of very faint glazes mixing clear matte medium with the paint to produce translucent effects similar to what they had in the Renaissance times. Uh, we work the entire painting at once not leaving any area undone and we go over it very smoothly using subtle transitions here you can see I'm blocking in some shadows over the woman's dress and then after that I illuminate the light areas by darkening the values appropriately <clears throat> as we add certain values in certain spots the painting begins to take form and slowly I'm adding detail into the background. It's foundation upon foundation. And now, when I get to a certain point, I can start adding details within the people's faces. And um, I'm creating a course on this and I show you exactly how to do it. Basically, we're looking at this series of videos, but in a slower format where I actually explain everything that's going on. And here I just want to show you the time lapse so you can see the process. And it's a very methodical technique. I've had several students take my courses um, and they're able to produce fantastic portraits their very first try. Uh, because this is a methodical approach, it takes out a lot of the guesswork where you're able to incrementally move the painting along and each foundation is built on the next foundation. And so you don't have to try to get a lot of shading all in one step. And here I'm adding some dark levels to certain spots of the face, emphasizing details within the hair and the mouth. And once you have enough shading, you can start working on the skin tones. Here in the background, I'm re-emphasizing the darkness of the tree and the carriage and under the carriage, all the different shadows. And by going over these spots enough times, then the illuminated spots on the left where the lights filtering through the trees will begin to come to life. Here you can see I'm adding shadows to the woman's dress very slowly, working in smaller spots and then larger spots. And then on the man's suit, using alternating between wide brushes and narrow brushes and then back on the woman's face, adding some more details, emphasizing her hat, adding shadows on the right-hand side so that the left-hand side is brighter by contrast, working also on coloring within her hair. So we'll explore a lot of different things within this course, um, from painting background details to painting full-figured portraits, full-length uh, people portraits and then also the details within the background you can see I'm adding a lot of different levels within the trees and then also some illuminated spots shining through we go back in and add highlights to give it uh, warmth and depth and you can also glaze different colors here I'm adding some illuminated spots in the foreground where the light would be filtering through the trees and then we're going adding highlights into the spokes, showing you how to do that using um, matte medium to thin down the paint to a really fluid consistency that makes it really easy to paint. And um, adding final details to all the different areas. Here the painting's getting pretty close to being done. So you can see how it all comes together at the end. And that's the most fun part of the whole project is getting to these last few details. And it's possible to do that with the glazing technique. I show you exactly how to do it within the course, step by step. Uh, the course consists of all the different videos broken down with instruction, showing you the, the colors of my palette and how I do it. And you can follow along and do the same thing, or you can utilize the techniques within your own painting. Um, so really, there's a lot of different things we cover within the course. But uh, here I'm signing the painting and uh, calling it done. Just a couple of edits the client had wanted me to change the hat. And that's something that 
I'll show you within the course too, if you ever have to make a substantial change in one of your paintings, it's possible to do that. And I show you how to uh, go about making an adjustment like this. This was actually a pretty substantial change. Um, but I just added in all the details, the shape of the hat, the ribbon, and uh, that was it. And ended up looking really nice. And the client ended up really loving this portrait. And they're thankful to have this in their home. And uh, or they will be hanging it in their home. And I was so happy to be able to paint this for them. But again, within the course, I show you exactly how to paint a portrait like this, a historical Renaissance style painting that you can be proud of. So I look forward to seeing you within the course. All right, God bless.